Happy Democracy Day to every Nigerian watching me right now. I am Tofumi Talabi for Aryan TV. Democracy Day marks the day the military handed over power to an elected civilian government in 1999, marking the beginning of the longest continuous civilian rule since Nigerians independence from colonial rule in 1960. Democracy Day was initially celebrated on the 29th of May until last year, President Muhammad Buhari declared June 12 to be the new Democracy Day. He was to celebrate the democratic election of M. K. Rabiola on June 12, 1993, which was adjudged to be Nigeria's freest and fairest election. Chief M. K. Rabiola can be referred to as a martyr for democracy who paid the supreme price for the nation we now enjoy. Let's see what Nigerians have to say about Democracy Day and the late Chief M. K. Rabiola. Well, to me, I will say June 12 is uh, an adopted day for democracy in Nigeria. Uh, because I've been sure we were celebrating it on May 29. But when this particular government came on board, he felt because there was an annulment of the initial day that we were supposed to start the Fourth Republic, he adopted June 29 and made June 12 as democracy day. So, to me, if I'm going to see it in the general balance of the government, it is democracy day as we celebrate it today. Um, June 12 is about Democracy Day, and the day um, MK Abiola died. So that was all about June 12. June 12 is for Democracy Day, and we are remembering a hero who, in his time, did many things for Nigeria. Today is Democracy Day, and I think to, um, Abiola actually died today. So, uh, and this thing was actually shifted from May 29th to today. So that is always celebrate Democracy Day today. June 12, uh, to me, it's a date that liberates Nigerians and is a day that will continue to be in the memory of Nigerians. I want to give kudos to the President of Nigeria, President Momondo Buhari, for recognizing the June 12. Because if not for June 12, we wouldn't have been where we are today. It is June 12 that shows that, you no, know, within ourselves we can pick somebody that can represent us. That shows that, oh, on that note, sincerely, I want to, re I want to appreciate the role that uh, the late MK Wabella played on June 12. Despite intimidation, despite this and that, he said he would rather die in detention to fight for his people. His own, his own Jesus. That I would rather die in detention to fight for my people so that they can be liberated. And that is what we are celebrating today. Um, to me, actually, Democracy Day marks the day. Um, I would say Democracy Day marks the day the military hands over government, uh, hands over power rather to the um, civilian government. According to the definition, they say. Uh, democracy is the government by the people for the people. But honestly, democracy is supposed to change our lives, make our life better, and put you know, things in place. Well, you know, the general definition, if we are, to, if we are not to be too strict with uh, what government says as a subject, we say it's the government of the people by the people and for the people. Yes, we can't deny the fact that there, there is democracy. What we were having before was more or less like an autocracy. That was when it was under the military government. But if we are to now answer the question whether there is democracy in Nigeria, is another thing entirely. Because we are not really practicing democracy as, is, as it is being practiced in the first world countries by those from whom we have taken a leave of democracy. So we are not really practicing it as it is supposed to be, but there is democracy. We're celebrating it because it's supposed to be, or let's say it's supposed to be the government for the people by the people. Um, and so far, with recent times, we have not really experienced that. What we're experiencing is the opposite of democracy. And it's been hard on everyone around. It's been a tough one since we can ever remember. Things like keeping not inflating, and the prices of things have gone up all around you. There is. Some, no sort of so much peace around. There is always um, problems here and there, even in the economy and everything. MK Abiola to me is an icon, is a model, is a mentor. Well, to me, I would say uh, MK Abiola is a person, in fact, a, a, a president that we are supposed to have. But unfortunately, we couldn't have him as our president. 
let him just say he's an activist and he's one of the businessmen in Nigeria. So he's a people, he's one of the people that actually love his citizens and he's a philanthropist also. So, but it's badly that he died on this day, uh, um, some years back, but on June 12th. I am K. Obiola, it's um, a hero in Nigeria. Um, in his regime, he fought for Nigeria. He did a lot of things in Nigeria, like he made his investment in Nigeria. Um, unlike other politicians now, who go out of the country to make their investment, they go to places like Dubai to make their investment. They don't invest in people here and in things here. So it's difficult for the youth around to actually do things, you know, because there are not a lot of things in place for them to work on. Well, MK Abiola, I think the name is Moshud. Kasimawu Olawale Abiola. He was a man who fought for democracy. Having won June 12 election, uh, June 12, 1993 election against Bashir Tofa, I think he had 8 million plus votes. Bashir Tofa had about 5 million. Altogether, the vote was about 13 to 14 million. The, the election was annulled and it was adjudged. And not really even adjudged. If we are to look at it generally, I think it's still the most. Uh, fear and fear, the freest election so far since we started democracy in Nigeria, dating back to 1979. And this man had to, he stood up for his right, he had to stand up for his right, fought for democracy, eventually in the process he lost his life. So I would say Abiola was somebody who was a democratic hero in Nigeria. And uh, by virtue of him, we are celebrating Democracy Day today. MK Abiola um, was a businessman, a philanthropist, a publisher and um, he was, let me say, he's being held. She understands, he's being held as a figure of um, Nigerian democracy, she understand. So that's all about MK. He was a great man, actually. He was a great man. He, he laid down a good foundation before he died. The only person I would actually take is um, our present governor, that's Shea Makinde, governor of Oyo State. That's the only person I can see that is trying his best to walk towards, but I don't think it can actually be like MK Abiola, but he's actually trying his best. Only that people can, uh, can never be satisfied. That's just it. No matter what you do, people will not be satisfied. But to me, I think he's trying his best to be like him. That's the only thing I can say. The question is a bit ambiguous in the sense that human beings can hardly be vouched, uh, you can hardly vouch for any human being until such assumes a position of power. Some you will think they will be like him, but when they get there, they will turn to something else. Then they are rare, actually. But the problem we have as we practice our democracy in Nigeria is such people as it is today might not be able to get there. Because one, they might not have the, the money, they might not have the clout, they might not even have the interest. Because if they get there, they will need people. And the people they are going to surround themselves with might not be able to help them deliver on the gain of democracy that they promise, just as we have in the current government. Yes, there is. There is somebody I still have open mind and I still believe in him. And that person is Omo Yoli Shuwere. Omo Yoli, he contested for 2019 special election, but unfortunately it wasn't. But I still believe in that he can still do something in 2023. So he still have all these criteria and everything that this, um, I mean, Abiola has. So I still believe in that he still can do more if we give him the chance. We believe in him. Well, I, I cannot say precisely that I have anybody in government now that we can even relate, we can even talk about like mentioning like Abiola in the time of because when I was in secondary uh, primary school we even wrote Abiola MK or Abiola in our um, school book so we we love MK Abiola so I cannot precisely say anybody in government can do like Abiola as well as we hope for. Honestly, my sister, I will tell you, except I go, I go back to the, to the archive, but honest, I can't really pick someone, though we are people, we are people that are brilliant, we are people that are worthy, we are people that you know, are capable, that, that have the capacity, the tenacity, the we have people that have the zeal to make this country better. But actually, I can't really pinpoint. I can't really say. So, but we have people that can do it. There is no one person I can say right now, but it would be good if they can look back and see on the legacy 
um, people like MK Abiola have put in place and they can build on it. You see, you cannot be me. You can only try to follow my footsteps. Yes. So I will only advise them, all of them that are in position of authority, especially the, the progressive party, because um, you know Abiola is from progressive end. Yes. Definitely I have to talk and uh, speak with progressive people that they should emulate, they should continue to see the likes of Abiola, the likes of um, Cizero of uh, SLK. And I think Ashwa Jubala Tinubu is going to that direction. I wish him the best. That's news for now. For more updates, subscribe to Arian TV on YouTube and follow us on our social media platforms at Arian TV. For Arian News, I am Tofemi Talabi.